You really don't have to go through all this trouble. Oh, you've been on your feet all day, Miss Lonstein. It's not a problem, believe me. We're all just civil servants here. Oh, please. I'm a janitor on the subway. <laughs> well, but still, it's a tough job. When do you do? Eight or nine weeks. I'm not really sure. You know, I understand that. Uh, before my wife and I uh, had our first child, I always thought nine months, 36 weeks, boom. But then, you know, it kind of turns out to be more like 10, depending on time of conception. It's all a mystery. Yes, it is. Right. But in your case. My case? Your situation. You told detectives that a man bumped into you on the subway? What about seven months ago? Right. And he took your wallet? I guess so. Oh, I'm so grateful you got my license back. I needed to cash checks, even though I don't drive. What kind of bump was it? Uh, it was an accident. The car was crowded. Were you in uniform? No, I was off duty. Were you wearing a dress? Yes. Why are you asking me these questions? You know about the subway rapist, right, Cedra? Yes. You know how much damage he's done? Not to me. OK, it's OK. It's just that we need your help. We really do, Cedra. The man who came in contact with you that day in the car is it one of these men? He's that man. Okay. okay. Thank you very much, Cedra. Uh, you hungry? I don't think we have any uh, ice cream and pickles here, but uh, there is a machine, and Detective Stabler can take you to it. Take my arm, not my hand, because I'm working on a cold. Go straight down here to the left. We got enough to pick him up, but she won't say rape. We don't get a conviction. Then get him to say it. C can I have some coffee? No. I have here a court order signed by Judge Exner to perform an amniocentesis on a complaining witness, Jane Doe number eight. Amnio? For pregnant ladies. That's right. You stick a needle into the womb and you get DNA from the unborn child. Which we know to be yours. You do? Yep. You're putting me on. I mean, this is some kind of bluff, right? You want to read it? It's technical, but what it means is you're on that train, you lift up those women's skirts, you were all ready to go, and you went. The seven women who ID'd you, you got lucky there. Yeah, but number eight, Sal, bad luck. You knocked her up. Cedar, you feeling OK? Fine. Yeah, you know, funny, so am I. I've had a cold for a week. You touched my hand, and now it's gone. Can you explain that? No. Man, neither can I. Something. You'll get fat. Yeah, but I haven't had anything. You. Is it you? Wait, 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 wait. It is. It's me. Yeah. The girl in the flower dress, right? Tulips, red and little yellow things, huh? They said you were number eight or something. I, I wondered if, I wondered what happened because I. Because what, Sal? Because I knew it that if, when I did you, that something beautiful could happen. Yeah, that you'd get pregnant and you'd have my baby. My baby. Let's go. Hey, when I get out, we'll be together, okay? A family, a family, huh? <laughs> 